Test one, two. Test one, two, three, four. I had the mic in. Welcome to the human race. William Trout, that guy that sings that song. It's like the first time I ever heard it. Welcome to the human race. It's like, what a better description. I've been broken, torn up, destroyed. This lets my mind and my body get back together from my head down to my foot. Plus, I've already got all the foot muscles. I've already got all the foot muscles incorporated, the leg in there. Just getting it to come back alive. Three toes is all that was able to move. Three, three baby toes. And I was like, are you kidding me? That's uh, what I wake up to on same day surgery. Supposed to get out of here and they're going to move a little wire in my back. Well, that little wire wasn't such a little wire. Totally knocked out the whole sensory system. But I'm so, so, so blessed to have grown up in a home that coached. That coaching and all the sports. Bend overs. Coaching and all the sports drills and stuff. I believe in higher power. Jesus, amen. Savior. Uh, you know, you're always supposed to praise the Lord before your miracle. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping maybe the next day. I'm, I'm ready for it, you know. I'm not going to. The leg. The pain was so bad else everywhere. The, the pain was so bad out. I mean, that's hard to say. The pain was so bad everywhere else. That. Losing. The complete paralysis of the leg. I I I could care less. Now, believe it or not, uh, you'd think that would be important, but the pain was so excruciating that uh, who cares? Just stop this pain for a minute, you know. A minute's not even quick enough, like a nanosecond. After I screamed and realized I was in so much agony, the leg uh, is completely dead. I, uh, said, uh, I had a, this bad back, they didn't want to treat me with medicines, so they wanted to do a surgery, instead of giving me the medicines orally, 60 year old, or 55 year old guy, don't even cut me open, don't even get in there, just give me some oral medicines and let me get through it. I already had had a spinal injury and had six a cage in there with six bolts and two bone inserts. So I'd already had hardware in the back already. It took me 20 years to get over it. It's 2000, yeah. 2003 at the end of the year when I had the cage in there. 
got the bolts in the cage in the lower back section about eight years uh, I had about eight years going in to the Secretary of State's office for uh, as an account technician and uh, worked on the computer uh, system we uh, me and Terry Terry was IRP uh, auditing the truckers he taught me that trade but kept that a title uh, I did refunds that was fun that really wasn't fun it was so complicated that they put me with this one guy that knew all of it because they knew that I could catch on and sort them to glide them I guess basically you're the only department in every refund goes through you. So, that was a heck of an individualized office. So I got transferred out of that one though, but I learned that system for about a year. I took me back up to the original office. I was moved all around to Secretary of State. I did facility work. Moved to AIDS and lived there for two or three years. Still getting uh, co-training because at the time you have to have a, uh, a degree, which I couldn't get at the time because right when I was supposed to be getting mine and going, take over at Sparty's. Would want to retire. You'd all have so many places. So he wouldn't retire. But dad couldn't get me on. You know, he made, couldn't, couldn't handle not having it. And then I couldn't get into the position because then nothing was open. So I couldn't get in the second year because he wouldn't retire and quit. Yeah. So I, I couldn't get assistant coaching under dad because Stegel would not quit. So I, this was going on right after, before the, I was two months from graduating college. Two weeks or two months. That was two weeks. And I even had passed the oral uh, student teaching evaluation. He graded me. Gave me a B or C and left. So basically, I could have had a hurt ankle and finished the coursework. She left me alone in there and the kids were going crazy. Probably told them to make a fuss. We didn't have any, uh, they'd already ran out of discipline problems uh, with a, uh, a discipline plan that was a Point variation ratio. I will take away points. You won't be able to get on your trip with six flags. This is the rowdiest bunch of kids in the middle school that this teacher, Miss Gregory, been teaching for 18 years. Said she'd ever seen in her life. And they grouped them all in there, most of them with, with me and her. Because they knew I was going to student teach there, and they needed they needed a male. It was crazy, and she didn't give me an opportunity. I just had to listen to her, and there's plenty of opportunity she could have given me. But she wanted to get through her thing, so she could speed rush everything. And uh, look, there's no problem. But she had a horrible time. So I accidentally say smart, uh, smart ass remark instead of smart aleck. I, uh, after the evaluation, where I said I could have just had an ankle sprain and left and probably could have graduated and not even finish out my student teaching, I could have just left that day and I said I'm sick. I said I caught something bad. I could have done that for 30 minutes of time. But no, I had lunch break. I, I couldn't even tell the teacher that I said smart ass. She didn't give me an opportunity because the kids kept getting in her way, kept getting in her way. 
kept getting in her way, and I said, I have to talk with you. I need to talk with you. They wouldn't give me an opportunity to talk with her. So, uh, I was stunned. That kind of ticked me off, too. So, uh, he was in on it, too. Because he had told Mom previously, uh, I took Mom up to a meeting. Administrative meeting with my professor. I said, let's evaluate this testing and scoring that he's doing because something's, something's not right. Well, we caught him one time there at the very end that he had two answers and both of them are right. Some of his uh, questions, you had two right answers. Depending on which one you had, he'd switch it wrong. Uh, but uh, he changed the syllabus grading scale on the last day of the test of the final. Who changes your syllabus on the last day of the test? That's the only C that I had in the entire college. Three years, I didn't get anything lower than a B or an A. Or I changed careers. So anyway, me and mom's going up there to the office. Because I said, hey, I was my junior year. I said, he's got an in for me and I'm tired of it. I said, let's go up there and find out what it is. So we get up there, mom's sitting there, and I'm, we're going over to test cushion, and uh, she interludes a couple times. He says, he gets he gets frustrated, says, uh, you'll never graduate from here. He got that upset, and uh, I, we were both shocked. It's like, are you kidding? You're saying that in front of my mom? It's like, you know, the guy said I didn't have what it took when I started the college, which kind of pissed me off, but... I got switched over to another advisor because Mr. Graver was retiring and uh, we had a new boy in town who wanted to get the treehouse next to the door, the door or next, he built a treehouse uh, at, at his house that was right next to the college a few blocks away that was the, the property to the library and the house I mean, that sink and shower yeah, that's the treehouse in the backyard I was a non-traditional student, so he didn't, I don't think he wanted me in the, the entire system. And so anyway, he said I never did. I, Mom and I, we were, uh, we said, uh, what seems to be the problem? Well, grammar and syntax, writing skills, and uh, spelling. It's like, yeah, I, I know that. I said, did you not or did you have a course that was called Grammar and Syntax at your school at this college that I graduated from? I graduated and got a B. So I've had the class at this course tested me. And I know I'm weak in spelling. I know I'm uh, need the proper sentence structure. Uh, I, I skipped all that when I was going through school. I didn't have a proper teacher. There's ways to address it and teach it differently. And uh, also, I have teaching points that if you catch me doing things wrong, you get extra credit, or maybe I did it on purpose, or did I do it on purpose? Or maybe the other students are having troubles with the spelling. So it's a helpful tool for teacher. Cut down, cut down, cut down. So anyway, when I got assigned to the last... Uh, term of my three-year practicums, the teachers, I had the three or four teachers, he hand-picked each one, one of them, uh, yeah, and uh, I was more their aide than teach, uh, Anderson was pretty good, and then uh, Kendring, or I uh, can't remember her name, and then uh, Bruner, Bruner was getting ready, to, that was his buddy. And uh, anyway, so I went back. I called Dad. I said, uh, at lunch hour, I said, uh, I made a mistake. He said, well, that's like a Freudian mistake. He was substituting or being a principal retired. He said, that's, that's no big deal. He said, that's what student teachers do. They make mistakes and it, it's a break. And uh, the, the kids are uncontrollable. You left room in there. Like, oh, he said, just tell, you know, go 
go in there and tell the principal what you did, what you did. The go walk back in, thought everything was gonna be okay. And uh, the principal comes out and meets me outside. Pulls me in his office before I even got a chance to go to him to let me play my coy. And then basically says that I've been doing all these things. It has a list of things throughout the year, which one we, uh, we discussed and resolved uh, in the fall. No big deal. Uh, another one was an accusation that was a uh, uh, kid had a uh, cream that was in a tube. It was uh, for uh, a woman's uh, 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 something and or the other. And uh, I got accused of saying something that there, these kids made up. I couldn't even believe what it was. It was such a stupid name. And I, 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 that, that's when I knew I was getting set up. And anyway, I wasn't going to be able to graduate. Dad said, hey, I got a teacher for him. You can graduate the same amount of your time. We got enough weeks left. Uh, Mary Jo helping a down here student teach. Uh, we even got a sponsor that's work that could be a sponsor from the college, uh, Masada. And uh, he was one of Dad's reps. It would help sponsor me so I could graduate so it didn't look funny on my record. I'd do a whole another term of student teaching just because I made a, a, sm a, a smart ass remark. But, uh, you know, I'd change the word. Yeah. So after three years of, of dedicating, working part time, going and changing my career, uh, uh, yeah, and couldn't get on uh, because I said, so then. I, uh, they sent me home, and when I went in, uh, and they had a phone, they, oh yeah, you can't, uh, you're expelled, I didn't want to, okay, uh, that's, you're fine, people make mistakes, they'd already run out of their system, they'd used up all their points to discipline them the whole the entire year, yet, when I say it's plain and simple, to a, some little kid at 6th uh, sixth grade, that knows that he can get away with being a torment. That's when you need to send him into the principal's office and let the principal actually call the parents up and said, we're going to take care of this right here and now. So anyway, that's some of the stories about me not getting my degree. The little guy with his tree house. In my, I, I, basically, I was the only male also in the class because it was elementary education and he didn't he didn't uh, plan on having a non-traditional student with him you know so anyway i didn't get to work out I'm telling you that story about him uh it's like the ic story we could have actually sued him we tried to uh we could have and uh well basically we tried to get back through this is the longest story ever graver said hey you could get your degree I didn't, they, they, uh, the faculty wouldn't, or, uh, Fritchie wouldn't approve for Masada to be my supervisor, and they didn't approve it. They said, you have to just start it over next, next term, if we even let you. And that's when, uh, Dad was about ready to go get a lawyer, and we ended up basically talking to a lawyer, but... The lawyer said, we're just going to throw our money away, and you're not going to get anything done. It's going to take a while. You're not going to get your degree. Uh, it, so, Graber later on, it, it just fell. Nothing went, nothing happened. My loss. So you go to another college, they won't let you in. you got to go for two years because it's an educational degree. And they want you to go for their whole term. So... Could have been generations of football and basketball teams down here. But, uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying we, everything, everybody did great with Marty and all that, but you know, I mean, Laura Jackson's girl, if I could have been up there, if this guy wouldn't have ruined my career. See, they already had two graduates that were already Jacksonville. Uh, 
Well, one was kind of from Triopia, but uh, he was Jacksonville boy. He was, he was a heck of a mid all American kind of guy. Young kid, good kid. Uh, very athletic, but I mean, just because you're athletic, then you know, you, you know all the plays and schemes and different fundamentals. And so, uh, and the Dugan's been there forever. He's still there in football. So, they already had their little coaches they wanted. And uh, I, by that time, my team was almost a ranked number one in the state. And I was assistant coach with dad, ready to jump into that program. And uh, that would have been a wonderful, uh, thank you very much for that college BS, you know. That's just ruined. A lot of things. One, die. Treehouse. But, uh, it's cold out here. I usually do my workout. I'm trying to walk and get things figured out and get the car unloaded, get my things in. I need to, uh, I hardly ever get a chance to relax because I shut this in case you know I'm not paying attention or I'm not straight somebody can walk in to sideways. So how the hell we got on the IC story, I don't know. and Hansberry Prep School comes to South County. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that was a matchup whenever uh, they played here on the 24th of December or February. Southwestern was number, ranked number one in the state. 26-0. Uh, Greg, Dwight, and Another guy that averaged about 17. So, uh, set up here. I need to probably go walk some more, but, uh, uh, yeah, that just, I put a lot of time in to be set up my senior year and used like that. I had a two month old at home. I was tired. It's been three years since I quit a good job. So, I went back to factory month or a year and helped at home and just figured out I was in shock. Just in shock. Here's a uh, that second year I believe, yeah. Uh, that was some of the memorabilia and stuff. It was so cool. And uh, you see it coming together. We see it coming together. And uh, I probably look weird. This is how cold it is out there. You see it coming all together because uh, you put so much time in it. Man, I'm, I'm hurting bad. And uh, I need to put hot air in it. On the coaching. When you know, they're building a team and getting it going. Uh, this accident stopped me from the book. It was five years ago. I shared something on Facebook. That's been around that long. Facebook has. And uh, I got to put these on. I was working on this computer. Making the movie. Kind of. Editing it and playing it around, and it was starting to kind of be cool. First cut. Well, anyway, I gotta get over this pain, and uh, legs got too cold. I'm hurting.
Get out there. I shouldn't have been recording because I'm not doing my work. Man. It's life or death. I got to keep the legs. I need water facilities. Pat them down to get these legs going. I still probably got time to go up there. You know, it's awesome. It's still getting... It's getting... Lighter every day, baby. Nine o'clock, night time. Not five o'clock or something. Yeah. <sighs> Hip sockets. Nerve pulses. Getting up in there, moving that body left, right. I'm working on a high hamstring, so I'm trying to do some back springs to work that leg up. Here's one of my devices. Another device. Anyway, signing out. It's been a tough one. I didn't really want to talk about that. I hope I got most of it done. Uh, I almost, uh, I had a really good GPA. I was on Dean's List. I uh, got a Dalton Astronomy Award in physics. I uh, started really liking it with Dr., uh, uh, the professor there. And uh, really, really neat. Well, I'm talking right into it. Really, really neat. Uh, that I was awarded that in 1992. Yeah, get awarded uh, uh, an award in physics, but you can't teach elementary ed. Because huh. yeah, you said smart Alex, smart ass. He's his ass. Let's say that you didn't have corporal punishment. Uh, sometimes principal has to have some kind of, right, I, you know, it's, I'd say very cautionary discretion. But, uh, you know, there's times when there's a limit to limit. And, uh, you know, got the nonsense off what Dad was at. I mean, he's got a few of these trophies, so, so what he would say.